Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about discrete and continuous random variable. So ito yung dalawang klase ng random variable. So pag sinabi natin discrete random variable, a random variable that can take on a finite or countably infinite number of distinct values. O sa madaling sabi class, pag sinabi natin discrete, var discrete random variable, so countable siya o nabibilang. So, it is about uh, count data. So, uh, kadalasan, yung discrete random variable, it's about whole number. No? It's just a whole number. And then, uh, like for example, number of heads obtained when tossing a coin tries. So, that is an example of discrete random variable. Number of siblings a person has are the number of students present in a classroom at a given time. So, kayang bilangin, no? Or, uh, ibig sabihin, it's a data count. And then, anong pinagkaiba naman ng continuous random variable sa discrete random variable? So, tandaan, kapag random variable, it's a finite or countably infinite. Pag continuous random variable, a random variable that take an infinitely uncountable number of possible values. Typically, measurable quantities. So, it's about what? Measured data. A random variable represent measured data. So, kadalasan, uh, ito yung mga sinusukat, kinakount, like for example, uh, measured of weight, no? Measuring of weight, height, okay, o pagkuha ng time, the distance, amount. So, yan ay halimbawa ng continuous random variable. So, it's about measurable quantities. So, kagaya nga dito, sa halimbawa natin, the time of person can hold his or her breath. The height or weight of a person. The body temperature. Okay, so... I'll give you, uh, I think this is 15 items, no? 15 items, uh, activities na kung saan pwede kayong sumabay, kumuha kayo ng notebook and pen and then sabayan nyo ako para ma-practice kayo at ma-differentiate nyo yung discrete and continuous random variable. So, ma madali lang kasi itong lesson na ito, no? i-classify lang natin. So, you are going to classify each random variable as discrete or continuous. So, bago tayo mag-start, I, uh, invite, uh, I invite you na magkaroon ng papel at ball pen and then try nyo munang kayo sumagot. Okay? So, for number one, score of a students in a quiz. Discrete ba yan or continuous? Yes, the answer is discrete wala naman siguro magbibigay ng uh, 2.5 or 2.25 na score. By the way, class, uh, isa din sa mga tinatandaan dito para madali nyo matandaan, kapag discrete, di ba, whole number, and then kapag continuous, may range. Uh, possible na magkaroon siya ng decimal. Alright? Number two, how long students ate breakfast? How long students ate breakfast? The answer is continuous. So, I hope na nakadalawa na kayo or nakadalawang tama na kayo. For question number 3, time to finish running 100 meter. Time to finish running 100 meter. Yes, the answer is continuous. Kasi nga, di ba, ano siya, uh, it represent measured data. So, from the word time, so, kaya siya continuous. Question number four, amount of paint utilized in a building project. Amount of paint utilized in a building project. Yes, the answer is continuous. So, meron kang ano dito na amount, yung amount na word. Another, Number five, the number of deaths per year attributed to lung cancer. The number of deaths per year attributed to lung cancer. 
Yes, the answer is discreet. Number six, the speed of a car. The speed of a car? Alright, so the answer is continuous. Uh, kasi yung speed, no? Next, number seven. The number of dropout in a school district for a period of 10 years. The number of dropout in a school district for a period of 10 years. Discrete by N or continuous? Okay, so the answer is discrete. Next, number 8. The number of voters favoring a candidate. The number of voters favoring a candidate. Okay, so the answer is discrete. Number 9. The time needed to finish the test. The time needed to finish the test. Alright, so the answer is continuous. Okay, I hope naka 9 na kayo. Naka 9 na ng tamang sagot. So, let's uh, proceed for question number 10. Number of eggs a hen lays. The number of eggs a hen lays. Discrete ba siya or continuous? Yes, discrete. Okay, lalo na itlog yung pinag-uusapan natin dyan. Wala naman siyong itlog na kalahate, right? So, countable. Number 11. Average temperature in Baguio City for the past 5 days. Average temperature in Baguio City for the past 5 days. Yes, that is continuous. Number 12. Weights of 8 randomly selected math books. The weight of 8 randomly selected math books. Alright, the answer is continuous. Number 13. Amount of sugar in a cup of coffee. Amount of sugar in a cup of coffee. Alright, the answer is continuous. Okay, this number 14. No, hindi ko na edit. So that is number 14. Okay, so number 14, amount of rainfall, uh, so that is in millimeter in different cities in NCR. Amount of rainfall in millimeter in different cities in NCR. Yes, the answer is, that will be continuous. So next, this I ho think this is the last question. Number of gifts received by 20 students during Christmas season. The number of gifts received by 20 students during Christmas season. Okay, so the answer is discrete. I hope you get a 15 points so you can uh, share with us no, yung score nyo na nakuha nyo sa comment section ng video lesson na to. So pwede kayo mag-share uh, ng nakuha yung score. So Kung medyo alanganin pa, pwede nyo balik-balikan yung video lesson na to para mas mapamilyarize at malinawan about discrete and continuous random variable. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson your Walmart channel.